Bloomington officials are working to correct glitches with the city's new downtown parking meters. As WTIU's Christina Oeda reports, the meters along Morton Street went online today, but were shut down because they weren't charging credit cards correctly. Shortly after turning on the first set of parking meters along Morton Street, city officials noticed the machines were charging customers incorrect amounts for the credit card convenience fee. Bloomington Public Works Director Susie Johnson says that's why city officials decided to only put a few of the meters online, so they could catch any glitches that might occur. Now she says the company that installed the machine is working to fix the problem, and the city should be back on track soon. So what we want to do with the parking meters is to have um, our parking turnover frequently so that our downtown businesses um, can utilize those on-street spaces closest to their business for customers to come in and visit their stores and try to get people that need longer-term parking, like uh, downtown employees, um, people coming down for uh, an all-day conference or something like that, try to get them to our parking garages. Travers Marks is a partner at Max's Place Restaurant on the Bloomington Square. He says the new meters are a step in the right direction, but the city needs to do a better job of informing people about their parking options. We need to have free parking garages, and we need to advertise the fact that we have free parking garages. Go ahead and put the meters on the street, and then put a sign up there that says, or if you'd like to park for free, one block to the right is the parking garage, where you can park for free for two hours. The city is installing more than 1,400 meters that are expected to be up and running in the first part of August. For WTIU, I'm Christina Ojeda.